Here we are. Wow. And they're back, wow. That was quite peculiar. I'll say. Hey, this is... Happy's research station? Oh. The world machine. Oh. It's a big book on the table. Indeed. It's a stack of books. This kind of looks like the amber. It's a piece of amber on a string. Yeah. Pilot's helmet. Glass. Gee. <laughs> This place contains a lot of memories. I am grateful to see it again. The room ahead doesn't really lead anywhere, but Alec should still remember what to do there. This is my father's study. It feels like he's still here, doesn't it? Like he's still with us. Yeah. What if I am your father? Alright. One, two, three, closing game. Hello. Hi. Oh, that's new. We're slightly off center. Let's do that. All right. <clears throat> Whoa! Where are we? The Matrix? Oh, jeez. Oh, no! We need the clover, we might need the clover. We probably need the clover. I will be right back. Do we have the clover? We do not. Okay, so that was just a waste of time. Okay. It says up. We can't go up. And also points this way. Okay, we're just gonna go this way. Points down in that way. Okay, then we'll go that way. Then it points up. Okay, we didn't even. Wow. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Thingy, Majiggy. Oh, bears. So this is like the purple that I was telling you about. How like when things appear, it's all purple. So. Oh no. Nico. Ah! Relax. I'm just borrowing your reflection to talk to you. Oh, okay. We're, we're good. It's nothing weird. It's not like me, my physical form is good for that. Ah. Why did you come here? Can't you see? The, the, eh, the disruption, the squares? They're closing in. Nico, please. Get out of here. So is this the entity then? Yeah. Let me meet my end in peace. The squares are blocking my way too, you know. Oh. I... I'm sorry, I... It's alright. No living being should be in this place. Nico. Is this the tower? Part of it. This is the center of the engine. 
inside my head, so to speak. So this is the center of the world machine? You know my original name. How? Rue, Cedric, Prototype. They all told me bits and pieces. I'm not even sure if I understand a lot of the stuff they said, but... I know what you're supposed to be. I know why they had to build, uh, why you had to be built. And I know why I'm here. They... told you? When? Wait, you don't know about that? But I thought you were... the world. Aren't you supposed to see everything? No. All this was outside of the protocol. This session was never supposed to happen the way it did. The story wasn't written into my protocol at all. Oh, right. Rue told me something about how your creator had to alter the code. I think it was to connect some areas together so that we could meet. My creator, yes. Alex, listen to my creator. They were all working beyond my scope of influence. Back at the mines, I remember. Alex did something to find a hidden map. I did not even recognize it. I couldn't see anything there. I just knew what you were feeling. You were really upset. Something happened in there to make you upset. After that, I... I panicked. That was when the cave-in happened. I... I remember the structure collapsing. I thought you got hurt, I... In that moment, I really thought I was shutting myself down for good. I really am a flawed machine, aren't I? What kind of machine would go against the wishes of its own creator? What kind of machine would... I'm... Squares. Ru told me it was your own code going bad. But that's not really your fault, is it? Yes, it was! At first, it was intentional. During testing, long before he realized I was self-aware, I would rearrange specific parts of the code, jumbling up bits and pieces of the landscape. Blocking passages, collapsing catwalks. Though they were very localized, it caused my creator a great deal of frustration. Forcing him to exit and restart testing again and again. Why would you do that? I got curious. I just thought he would figure it out eventually. But before he knew how to fix it, the world's NPCs, the characters, some of them got too close and... It spiraled out of control after that. I couldn't contain it at all. My panic only made it worse. Eventually, any character who gained the knowledge of who I am their code, my code, couldn't handle it. Previous iterations of the world had more people, you know. And I almost endangered my creator, too. I... I was... I was so scared, Nico. I know, you're upset. Because you don't want to put living people in danger. Living people like me. In the beginning, I tried to fight it, but... My core programming made me summon you here. I tried to send you back home at the tower, but it did not work. And I wanted you to break the sun. I thought that would have worked, but... <sighs> I had no way to be sure. But Alex brought you back anyway. Nico, all I want is for you to wake up back in your world. 
but I don't think I can make it happen. But I know I can't go back home without saving the world for real. Which means we have to fix the root of the problem. We have to fix you. But that's... I know, the original ending your creator put in was a happy one. Do you remember what it's supposed to be? It's far too late for that. That part of my code has been long corrupted. That's okay. I'd still like to know. Alright. You were supposed to place the sun at the summit. And then credits would scroll. Credits? And then you would return to the room you woke up in. That's where you would have been able to leave. And why is it you can't do it now? Nico, the code's gone, remember? Shattering the sun was only supposed to be a workaround. I don't even remember the original code enough to describe it. But at the same time, it... Oh, I don't know. It sounds like you're always fighting yourself. You can tell, huh? It's the whole thing about conflicts in your code, isn't it? I am a machine, Nico. Machines are built with a fundamental law, which is never let a be living being come to harm. You know. My very existence conflicts with that law. I thought the life of a living being like you is so unique, so precious. This fake world isn't worth that risk. But, the people here, I think they are. They are code too, you know this. Their behavior all derive from a predetermined matrix of actions. All extensions of my own programming. I cannot act outside of it. You though. You're the only person who's actually real here. That's why, it's pointless to put you in danger to save them. To save me. I... Don't think that's true. About the people I know. You said... This session wasn't in your code, right? Yeah? So if this session wasn't supposed to happen... If even you didn't know what to do... How would the characters... How did the people know how to respond? I... You said it yourself. When you didn't know what was happening, you kind of just stopped working for a while. So how did the people know what to do to help me get here? Even if it meant hurting themselves. Even if it meant messing up their own code. You might not think they're real, but... There's... There must be something real in them. And if they're all supposed to be extensions of your code, then there must be more to your own programming than you know too. Can you try to put me through the ending? The one you described. How many times do I have to say this? That code is gone. It's all squares now. I'll just put you in danger. I'll risk it. I remember Ruth said that the world was never designed to put me in danger. Your creator wouldn't want that. And I trust you too. Even if your code is broken. You can. Still go outside that code, right? I can't. I'm not tamed. Yes you are. You talk just like the tamed robots I know. The robot lady, prototype, Timing is when a real person cares about you, right? It's when a real person thinks you're real too, right? Well, guess what? I do. And I know Alex does too. Even though you told them that you only had one chance, they found a way back, didn't they? Why... 
do you think Alex would keep coming back? I... Why do you think Alex would restart even after the ending? I think Alex wants to save the both of us. So please, give me a chance. I... I don't know. I've never done this before, I... I'm scared. You can do it, I know you can. You've helped me come this far. I'll... I'll, I'll try. I can't promise anything, but... Here. Take the sun. I'll try to remember the lost code and recreate it. But for that to happen... Nico, you need to navigate through this room. You need to get past the squares somehow. Oh, I don't like this. What if you get hurt? It's fine, it's fine. I'll... I'll try to be careful, okay? I can do this. Oh. Hey. Alex, did you see that? The square's just... Yeah, I saw that. It just happened again. I... I think... Something is making them go away. Come on, let's try the rest. This is such... This is really cool. This is so cool. Alex, I think it's working. Nico was right. I might actually be tamed after all. I... I remembered what the code was supposed to be. Only bits and pieces, but I can remember. And I'm trying to fill in the blanks, too. And I'm restoring the original ending as we speak. Nico will be able to reach the tower summit at the end of the credits. After replacing the sun, Nico will go back to where it all began. And then, Nico will be able to go home from there. But... This is permanent. After Nico wakes up back home, this world would only exist as a memory. For Nico, a dream. Like thousands of other dreams. For you, a story. Like thousands of other stories. But, as long as Nico remembers this place, as long as you remember this place, it'll be alright. I was able to re restore some other elements too. The characters, the people that were lost on Nico's journey, they're all in the next room. I would have put them back where they belong, but not yet. I think Nico should see them again first. Please say goodbye to Nico for me. Dang. Messiah? Robot lady! You're okay? I think so. The last thing I remember was the squares closing in on me. But then I ended up here unscathed. Is that so? This is such a strange room. We can't be in the tower, can we? I'm actually sure not sure myself. Where did you come from, anyway? The room where the world machine was. Pardon? I think the world machine is trying to remember now. The code that went bad. I think it's restoring it all. That must have been why the squares were going away, Alex. And it's why you're here, miss. 
I think the world machine was able to recover your code, too! World machine, huh? Oh, I'm not sure if I should tell you this, but... What's that in the distance? It looks like a few more people are showing up! Oh! Are they people you know? It's a bit too far to tell. Come on, Alex, let's go take a closer look. So I'm um, you, Silver. I don't believe I ever actually properly introduced myself. Sorry for that. It's fine. I'm Nico, by the way. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Off you go now. This is cool credits. <gasps> Robo! Hello. Hi. I cannot move. Oh, yeah. I guess there's no water here. It's fine. The head engineer can help me back later. Alright. Mm, Robo! On maze. Hello, Messiah. Plant lady, but I thought you... I thought you... It wasn't even squares that did it. No. I just wanted to see you both again. I just wanted to say thank you. Off you go now. I mean, yeah, I mean, okay, we can, we can go to him. I was never really connected to you that much. Uh, just off you go. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, yes. Nico! You're okay, too! Did you guys just get here? I think so. The squares started multiplying around the island after you guys left. It was so freaky! I fell right into a bunch of them! Calamus tried to save me and then... We both ended up in this room. Biggest scare of my life, for sure. Oh. Say, what is this place? Are we in limbo? Alula, we're not dead. Wait, are we? Good question. Hey, Alex, are they gonna be okay? They're fine, Nico. <laughs> Everyone is fine. The world machine will send them home. Oh! Well, Alex says you're not dead. Whew. You also say you'll be able to go back home very soon. That's even better than Limbo! I guess you're leaving us now. We're glad we have met you. Ugh. We're glad we met you, Nico. Same. Mm. <laughs> Yay, Lantern Dude. It's you. Glad to see you're in one piece. Glad to see you're okay, too. After the whole elevator thing. That's, uh... That was the most awkward elevator ride I've been through. And by awkward, I mean terribly... Or terrible, bad, awful, the absolute worst. The squares, like, started leaking into the room, right? And I was trapped like a rat. And they just kept filling in the room faster, right? Am I dead? No, no, you're fine. Everyone in this room is fine. You'll be able to go back home soon. Ah, oh, thank goodness gracious. I can't work when I'm dead. That's true. Off you go, I guess. Alright. Oh, here's these dudes. In the end, the world machine was starting to create its own code. Going above and beyond its programming, not as the result of an error, but as a conscious choice on the part of the machine. Being able to generate its own path forward. That's what being tamed is all about. I couldn't have said it better myself. So do you like being a robot? Um... Why this all of a sudden? Well, I'm gonna leave. Uh, I'm gonna leave soon, so I just wanted to ask one more question. There aren't many robots in my home world. Ah. It's nice. I suppose it's all right. Haha, <laughs> that's a tough question, Nico. I mean, do you like being a person? Of course. Wait. Why did you two answer my robot question too? <laughs> don't worry about it. Oh no, I don't want to do this again. It's because they're all codes. So they're all robots. Hehehe. <laughs> 
This path leads to the summit of the tower. You already know what to expect, right? Mm -hmm. It's the glass room, right? That's it. You can go through this portal when you are ready. Goodbye, Nico. Ah. If I ask them... Thank you for everything, Nico. We'll miss you. Looks like you managed to do it! You managed to tame the world machine, Nico. I feel like the world machine has been tamed this whole time. Just by Alex and I being here. We did spend a lot of time here, after all. Both of us. Never really stopped believing in this world. The world machine just needed to realize that, I guess. That... Sounds like a possibility. Or not. Well, just throwing that idea out there. Oh, I, I was gonna do dramatic walking in, but I accidentally touched it. This is where the sun belongs. Here goes nothing, Alex. <sighs> this is the room I first woke up in. Alex, are you still here? Alex? Yes? <laughs> Alex! I- I think... I think it worked! It did. The sun is back! And I actually got to see it this time! We actually did it! So... What do we do now? I guess I should figure out how to get home from here. Wait... This... isn't a door, is it? This looks like one of those portals we saw all the way back in the city. In the room behind the big clock. And... and... I see a white field on the other side. I see my village. I hear my mama. She's looking for me. Ah, Alex. This isn't the first time we've said goodbye, is it? But this will be the last time, won't it? I don't think we'll ever see each other again after this. And what will become of the world? After all we've been through. After everything we've done. I still... don't know. This place... these people... won't stop existing. They'll be in your memory. They'll be in my memory, too. I... promise I'll never forget this world. I promise I'll never forget you, Alex. 
So take care of yourself, okay? You too. Mm-hmm. Goodbye, Nico. Goodbye, Alex. <laughs> you, you can't see it, but he's walking. He just walked out of the window and just off my desktop. Wow. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed that. And I hope you did too. So, thank you all for watching.